is Banjo Guy Ollie? He is an asshole. <laughs> How are you doing folks? So today on the bench I have this uh, floppy drive, uh, PC floppy drive. It's the uh, Mitsumi uh, D539 uh, M3 and luckily this is another drive that should be easily convertible to uh, Amiga. Um, but not just, uh, I think it would, the same mod will essentially, and that's one of the few drives that will also work in an MSX uh, machine. So. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure it's the same mod uh, uh, and we can just put it in an Amiga once modded uh, or in, into an MSX. Uh, really handy. This is part of a, a number of drives I got recently uh, for, they were like five euros each uh, and I was told by the guy that they worked. Although if you watched a previous video uh, a while back on the three Sony uh, MPF I uh, forgot what the uh, model number was, but um, I doubt any of them actually uh, were working. One of them needed to be realigned, the other one had a broken trace, and I think one of them, I forgot what it was, but in this case I think there's a, a, a similarly a couple of traces to cut. I think in this case there's uh, two traces to cut, I could be wrong. Uh, but I think, and a little blob of solder to put on a jumper. Mr. President, this is ridiculous. Just do it. A PCB way has sponsored a who, new video. Who the hell are they? They offer PCB manufacturing and part assembly, of course, but they also offer a number of other services like CNC machining, metal sheet fabrication, 3D printing, and even injection molding. Go to PCBWay.com, upload your project files, and get an instant quote. And thank you to them for sponsoring this video. What should we do, Mr. President? Get the president on the phone. Dude, you are the president. I'll have what she's having. Right, first, let's open this. Uh, I uh, uh, I think here we just need, uh, I mean, I could open the top. Uh, I'm gonna need to clean it, but uh, I just want to protect the, the, the top first before, uh, while we're doing the mod. So I'm just going to remove, I think, is it this guy? Uh, we also need to pop. We want to be uh, careful as well popping. Yeah, this guy is broken right here. We might need to uh, apply a little bit of glue. I might do that first so it doesn't fall and I lose it forever. Three little screws and I think that's all. Ah, it needs to slide out. There you go. Back and up. Okay. Uh, so we've got a small PCB here in this case. So let me zoom back in and... Okay, so to mod uh, this drive for an Amiga, first we need to jumper uh, this uh, area here. Then to... Uh, so we just put a, either a big solder blob or... In my case, I like to use a little bit of wire uh, wherever I can uh, across this. Uh, we need to cut two traces. So the first one is pin th uh, 34 here. So we're going to cut that and bridge uh, this to uh, here, this guy, uh, this side of Den Tree or DN or whatever this is, um, the rightmost uh, pad of Den Tree. And then we need to take pin uh, 12, so 1, 2, 3, uh, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We need to cut this tray, so we're going to cut it here somewhere. Okay, and then we're going to uh, bridge a pin 10 to wherever that trace is going. So in this case, it's going to this guy here. No, it's going to this guy here. There you go, this one. So, uh, because we cut the trace here, I'm going to bridge this guy to this guy here. Uh, we might need, I'll see if I can manage, I think I have wire uh, thin enough, but we'll. Uh, I might need to lift that um, 
that leg? Maybe not, I'll see. I think that's cut. Uh, there's only one way to check and it's by continuity test. Yeah, that's cut. And while I have uh, the tool out, we're gonna cut this trace as well. Yeah, I think that's cut. Yeah, we're good. There you go, that's then to bridge and now we need to connect this guy to this guy. All right, next I want to solder this guy a uh, pin 10 to this guy, which without a microscope, I have a microscope, but for the sake of this video, I think we want to do it the, uh, the ghetto way. So I'm just gonna expose a little bit of uh, copper here, a little bit of flux. Yeah, okay, so that's on. We want a far to travel. Right here. There you go. You'll excuse the hands uh, in front of the camera. There's no easy way to do, uh, to do this. But I think we're good. We're gonna do the last few checks with continuity. Going here, here, great. Right, we got a drive in, and I'm just gonna put a floppy in. Power the Amiga, the friendly sound. And there you go. Hopefully, <laughs> nice, uh, awesome, cool. So it's reading uh, from the floppy. However, however, I want to draw your attention to one thing. This is a, well, I was going to say official Amiga floppy. This is a, a, a whatever, not not HD floppy. Uh, it has that little notch here uh, is filled. However, uh, I have these floppies here, and this what I have my Amiga test kit on. Uh, this drive has this notch cut out, and if I put that in and power the Amiga, nothing happens. Nothing happens until, let's flip this over, I push, I push this, uh, you see this switch here? So we're gonna flip this back on, can I push it from this side, yeah. So it shows here, and this is what defines an HD floppy from a standard uh, Amiga or whatever, uh, 720 floppy, if I press this down, Amiga now boots to Amiga test kit. So what we need to do is bypass this uh, little switch by bridging uh, either right at the switch, we can do that here, uh, and I believe there's a PCB that goes right to here. We need to find where the HD uh, um, pin is and switch that to ground. There you go, and uh, the HD uh, is here so it's the HD pin and I think all we need to do is bridge this to ground over here so we're gonna try just to run a, a wire right here's our uh, patch here hopefully that's correct and uh, we're gonna flip this guy power Amiga on and hopefully Yes, yes, <laughs> there you go. So we're just gonna do, I mean, we can do, uh, we know it works. We can do just a head calibration. We're all okay on the upper and lower head. Uh, we could do a retest if we want. Um, I, I'm guessing I'm gonna let that run for a while.
and there you go. I had to change uh, the floppy because um, this one, even though the Amiga test kit works on it, some of the sectors at the end of the floppy are corrupted. And that reads through uh, all to my file. So I reran the test with a floppy that I know is good and it's reading correctly. And excuse me, I'm chomping and something. Anyway, uh, let's put this back into its case. Uh, I'm just going to very, I mean, I don't think I need to clean the head or, or you know, re-grease uh, re the, uh, the motor, but I'm just gonna do that um, um, just as a prevention. But the drive is working as is, and that's, that's another drive converted out of that batch of five, so that's four out of five. I now have a, third, a fifth drive to do. I'll do that in another video because it's a different model again, and it's good to have just separate videos for um, the different models. But anyway, folks, this is it, another drive uh, for the Amiga. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope this was interesting. Uh, you can follow me pretty much anywhere that has Banjo Guy Ali. And if you want to help the channel, folks, uh, there's a Patreon and there's YouTube memberships. Anyway, I hope this was interesting. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.